The Zuma must fall. Uh, has, the Zuma must fall march that we saw just two days ago. And the beauty of this technology is that you don't even have to be in the same city or even the same country. Our reporter Yusuf Omar's 360 degree package of this event will make it quite a reality for you. And knowing Yusuf, you know that there's definitely more in store and he's in studio with us today to tell us. Uh, firstly, just explain, how does this technology work? Kathy, we are so excited to introduce this new platform. Essentially, the protest that took place was historic, wasn't it? It was a moment and many people weren't there and many people have conceptions about it from what they've read or from what television packages they've seen. But it's not really the same watching it on a screen as it is being in the footsteps, walking across that Nelson Mandela Bridge, experiencing what it's like to be surrounded by people. So what we did, we worked with the team at Deep VR and we had a rig with about 12 or 14 GoPro cameras and a big circle capturing 360 degrees, every angle from the sky to the ground. And what you can do, head to our YouTube channel right now, hit play and you're in it. You literally move your screen around and you're experiencing what it's like to be there. So, You've got full, full experiences of being on the ground. It's, it's like nothing we've ever seen before, Kathy. Where are these cameras mounted? So they're on a rig. But what we've done differently is traditionally rigs have been in a, in a static position. We've been able to go to a game farm and, and follow lions around and, and just be in one location. Now we're moving, we're walking with the crowds. So you can actually experience what it's like to be a marcher. And we've actually got Ulrico uh, from Deep VR who's here with us over Skype. Ulrico, you've done many, many such uh, projects like this. This must have been different doing it in such a big crowd in a protest. What were the challenges you experienced? Uh, firstly, everybody looking at the rig uh, is, is a challenge. Um, you know, you want viewers to be able to experience it as if they were there. Um, and uh, the crowd uh, being fairly dense was a bit of a challenge, but it was a very controlled uh, march. Um, so really, it was quite a pleasure for us to be there and quite an honor to do something that is uh, such a first. Could we take uh, virtual reality technology? Um, I mean, yeah, really, it's, uh, you know, the appeal of it, like you said, is because you can experience places um, as if you're actually there. Um, and if you're not able to attend something or you're worried to attend like this march, um, you can truly experience it for the first time. So it really is the future of storytelling. Thanks so much, Ulrika. Kathy, of course, journalism is just one aspect of 360 degree videos. We're seeing it having a huge commercial application too. Imagine the travel industry, being able to take somebody from their home in Germany suddenly to uh, a part of South Africa and to see what it's like or even how a hotel many, How room. many people do you need to film all of this? To film it, it's actually very, very simple. You can do it with one person. As you can see on the images, we're simply using a basic rig with a series of cameras on it. And the technology is getting more and more simple. We're even finding that people are able to produce content like this using just a cell phone. The beauty of it is people often think of virtual reality and they think about wearing a big headset and being immersed. The fact is you can do it with any smartphone at home over a 3G signal. And what does this mean, especially for reporting and for ENCA and the kind of work that is going to be produced for online? You know, Kathy, we constantly get criticized when we uh, cover protests, when we cover marches. Of course, the hashtag fees must fall was one where people said, oh, the media weren't showing all sides of the story. Mm -hmm. This really gives us the opportunity for the viewer to be in the driver's seat, to experience it. They can't accuse us of not showing them something or editing. They're right there. They're living the moment. It's by far the most immersive form of storytelling we've ever experienced. We're so excited. It's, it's just a new frontier. Television has changed substantially over the last hundred years, but yet it stayed the same. You're watching it on a flat screen. This is something else. Where can people go to access it again, Yusuf? It's on our YouTube on ENCA, and of course, it's going to be on our Facebook page in just a few moments time. Our last video got 40,000 hits, and we expect this wow, one to be far incredible. better. that's incredible. So it's picking up quite momentum. It's Absolutely. Momentum. South Africans seem really excited about this. Uh, uh, it seems like it's something that we thought was in the distant future, but is actually right around the corner. Oh, fantastic. We look forward to many more of those videos from our reporter, Yusuf Omar. It's a 360 technology that he's talking about here. Gives you all angles from any situation that uh, we report from. That's now available. You can go onto our YouTube channel uh, for more videos on it.